I am shining my eyes today. Yes, it's a day of shining my eyes because um, I want to talk about something that happens in Canada and that's scam calls. Scammers, scammers, scammers everywhere in the world and it's happening live in Canada. friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo if this is the first time you are seeing my videos thank you I'm clapping for you and I also request that you click on the subscribe button and the notification bell anytime I upload a video you will be the first to know and you will get useful content useful information about immigrating to Canada life in Canada and anything that's gonna be beneficial to you Today's video is a sensitive topic and I'm going to shine my eyes to talk about it. The reason I'm saying I want to shine my eyes is because um, I want people to be aware that there are scammers in Canada and sometimes people receive scam calls from unknown numbers threatening them that um, they must have done something wrong, they have to pay a certain amount of money um somewhere to ensure that these issues are rectified else they might be deported or reported to the rcmp or their properties seized and all that these scam calls happen a lot of the time almost all the time all year round and it is usually rampant when it is almost tax season canada tax season starts from february and ends in april for employed people for people who just immigrated last year this is the first time you start experiencing how you can file your taxes and all that but the major thing i want to talk about today is about scammers scam calls um that uh, is happening in Canada and this is very very rampant during this tax season you see lots of uh, people receiving scam calls from outside the country threatening them telling them that their social insurance number has been compromised um, they should pay some amount of money to rectify their social insurance number and this happens to new immigrants they target mostly new immigrants who do not know anything uh, because this group of people are vulnerable and um, uh, just can randomly give information about themselves without knowing that they must have let out a sensitive information that can be used to scam them and before you know what is happening, their bank account is empty of their money. Sometimes the social insurance number is tied to the bank account. So any new immigrant, please be careful. Do not just um, pick up any random calls. I know this is a season where people pick up calls because you don't know if it's a potential employer that is calling you. You don't know if you have an, an interview or you have an appointment. So you just pick up a call. And once you pick up a call, the person that is talking at the end of the call, if the person is threatening you, telling you that um, you have done something wrong or you will be deported or you'll be reported to the RCMP, blah 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 please know that it is a scam call these are scam calls and funny enough they know your name they know your full name they know your details they know your address how they get this information is what i don't know so they usually target new immigrants new students and i recently heard a very sad story of a ghanaian student that um, fell victim to these scammers she was called by one of these people and they told her her name, told her address, told her she was a student, told her that she had done something wrong and that she needed to pay 5,000 Canadian dollars. And she was like, how will she pay the money? They told her where to go and pay the money, which was in a Bitcoin machine. And yours truly, she didn't know that it was a scam call. She thought maybe something bad had happened and she withdrew 5,000 Canadian dollars, went to pay the money in a Bitcoin machine and by the time she talked to one or two persons she now discovered that she was scammed of her hard earned money so these are the situations we find ourselves um, as new immigrants and the canadian government has made so much effort in educating people enlightening people telling people not to listen to this group of people when they call you if they call you tell you your name tell you your number tell you that um somebody has used your identity to do a transaction please do not listen to this group of people cut the calls if you need more information you can go to the rcmp office and report them report the call to the rcmp office and they will be able to trace it and tell you that it's a scam call 
so um yeah new students who are arriving to canada as well please take precaution as well so that you don't fall victim to this group of people because they target students they target new immigrants they target vulnerable people refugees that just arrived do not know anything about the system do not know that there are scam calls that happens within canada and then this group of people lose money to fraudsters sometimes they even lose their identity and under identity theft is another big thing that happens and um, you should be careful about your documentation where you trash your documents before you trash your documents make sure that you don't have any information concerning your social insurance number or your address or whatever lying around so that people do not steal your identity and use it to commit fraud and before you know what is happening you are having problems with the rocmp because somebody has stolen your identity so this is the information i want to share today it is not the usual immigration topic um i'll be talking about immigration in my subsequent videos but today i just want to let people know that you should not fall victim to fraudsters to scammers and even for immigration as well there are scammers there are scam immigration consultants do not fall victim to this group of people yeah so i hope i have shared a useful information and i have not talked too much it's like I'm talking too much these days. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.